So we spent the latter part of 2014 and all of 15 working on the strategic plan. And the strategic plan is not just internally focused, it's about you know, servicing our customers better. And what we've done is align it so that the people that, that deal with our customers are where we're focused within our company. And that's what we call a group leader. And those, that is the, the client touch, the folks that run individual business units within our company. And what that does is then puts all the rest of us in the what we call corporate services is the background cast to just support them to take care of their customers. The beauty of that is as we grow and gain more and more customers, it provides more and more opportunity for our people. It also keeps our overhead down, which also helps our customers because we can uh, be can remain really competitive on our fees. So it's a win-win for everybody. As a group leader, I really don't provide a service directly to the client like a senior project manager or program manager does. But from a company standpoint, we've reached a size where a group leader is needed. We're all moving 100 miles an hour, but we're learning from one another and we're working as a team with one another to grow our company because our opportunities are endless. You know, our customers hire us to provide leadership. That was the number one thing we heard back during the first stage of our strategic plan of branding was to look at, you know, and that's what they said, our teams provide leadership on the projects and that's what's missing. When a project gets in trouble, it's because nobody wants to take the ball and run with it. Everybody's looking for somebody to blame and that's just not the way we approach projects. So we've got to have folks that can see it from a 30,000 foot view. Where we've reached from a critical mass, the senior folks that we have on staff that we've collected through the years that have joined our firm, we're in the business now of recruiting young folks. We, we need to build this business for the future. And so we hire engineers, we hire architects, we hire uh, building science majors, lots of different folks. We're looking for though unique people that have leadership capabilities to do what we do well for our customers you got to know the details, but you can't get lost in the details. You've got to be able to delegate and let other folks do the job that they're contracted to do. You've got to be able to see six months down the road or three months down the road when the contractor's worried about what he's doing next week. And that takes a unique skill set, and those are the type of folks we're looking for. One of the other areas of growth that we see is just very dynamic and a lot of possibilities is the opening of our new office in Dallas. You know, the, the growth that's happening in Texas and West is just phenomenal. So going to those K-12 districts out there and those higher ed institutions with our resume, our processes and our skills and our folks, is um, it's not gonna be an easy sell, but I, I think it's gonna be a great opportunity for a lot of folks for the future. We've set a very aggressive goal of doubling the size of our company in the next five years. That's gonna take a lot of people at a lot of different levels. It's not just to be bigger, but it's to be better and to provide opportunity for our people. That's the main thing. We've grown to a critical mass point where we've got a tremendous amount of, of talented young individuals who want opportunity and want to more responsibility and want to be able to do more and, and we've got some great people that we're going to grow to. But it's also outwardly focused on servicing our clients better, less overhead, folks that are all in client touch roles on a daily basis. I'm confident that through this strategic plan, we've built a roadmap and a structure to where this can happen.